So here we see Gary Bettenhausen's Roger Penske McLaren coming into the pits. The speed coming into the pits is very important because he's got to stop in exactly the right place for the seven men to get onto the job. Now, of course, each man has a specific job. Three of the men are in involved in the fueling. Two for putting it in and one for an overflow to be sure of minimizing a fire risk. Four men looking after changing the tires. Seven men in all. The cars lowered and pushed away. And now we'll show individual movements. We see the car coming in, we see the jack going in and lifting the car. This is so they can take off this rear tire. They change rubber at particular times in the racetrack and of course the front tire's changed as well, only on one side. This is taken off and put back on with a pneumatic tool. This is the overflow pipe and this is them putting the 60 gallons of fuel in. This is to minimize the risk of fire. Again, the rubber's put back on, secured by the air tool Everybody has to wait until every motion is completed. The car's lowered, they start to push the car out. Although the engine is running and the car is in gear, they want to make an excellently fast exit from the pits. And now we see the clock running at the top. Now, to make a very fast pit stop, they've got to do it in under 20 seconds in the race. We see the same motions. We see Gary Bettenhausen sitting in the car, just taking a breather with the, the visor up. He puts the visor down, and every second in the pits means 300 feet on the racetrack itself, the length of a football field. They push the car away, and off he goes back in the race.